Hey guys, what's up? This is White Boy for the win, and welcome back to Why Mega Evolve. Now, earlier this week we talked about Mega Mian Shao, and today we're going to be talking about Mega Noctowl. But before we get started, let me just give you guys a brief explanation of what this series is about. Now, every week I will be picking two Pokemon that either needs a Mega Evolution, deserves a Mega Evolution, or want a Mega Evolution for. Now, this is based off my opinion and my opinion alone and no one else's. Now, if you guys do not like my opinion, then please. Post your own opinions in the comment section down below about what would you keep, what would you change, and etc. And at the end of every video, we'll be telling you guys which Pokemon we're going to be talking about the following day. Now, the month of July is an exception because I'm going to be uploading three Y Mega Evolve videos every week on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. And then I'm going to be uploading one Y Mega Evolve video every day for the last week of July for a little summer blowout kind of thing. So with that said, here's Mega Noctowl. Now, just in my opinion, I believe that Noctowl is probably the worst bird Pokemon in Pokemon because it just has horrible stats. It's not piss poor stats, it's just horrible stats. It could do better and this thing like desperately needs a Mega Evolution and I actually want this thing to have a Mega Evolution because like Noctowl, I like its design, but that's basically it on that. So um, a Mega Evolution wouldn't hurt for Mega Noctowl or Noctowl in general. So as you can tell from its stats, I raised all of its stats except for its physical attack because this thing is not a physical attacker nor will it ever will be unless you're trying to do something funny, I guess, I don't know, but it's not a physical attacker whatsoever. So I just decided to leave that alone. Now for its physical defense, I raised it from base 50 to base 76. Now a base 50 defense that still is piss poor, now giving it a, a good jump from base 50 to base 76 is good now this thing will probably be able to take like an ice punch or something from like a low low tier pokemon from like the nu or ru or even pu tier it's not going to be able to take a like a very super effective move from a high tier from uu and above like uu ou and then ubers there's, there is no way i mean there is no physical way this thing is going to be able to live in a, like a physical attack from like a UU tier Pokemon or above. So a base 76 defense is not that bad actually. So for a special attack I raced it from base 76 to base 91. Now as you can tell from its ability I did give it the same ability as Delcaddy but I'll get into that uh, or explain it again once we get down there. But a good jump from base 76 to base 91. Um, Noctowl was basically known for being a special attack and or special attacker and also a special defensive wall as well. Now, a huge jump from base 76 to base 91 will be able to hit harder than it would before with like Shadow Ball, Psychic, and Air Slash. And base 91 actually isn't that bad either. I mean, usually most Pokemon in the OU tier are base 90, um, base 90 or higher. So base 91 is basically at the point where it's very good. So for its special defense, I wanted to raise this thing higher than its other stats because this thing is basically, like I said, known for being a special attacker and being a special wall. So what I did is I raised its special defense from base 96 to base 130, which is a huge jump and a, like a very, very good special defensive wall. Now, I know there's Pokemon out there who have like piss poor defense, but has like that one stat that's like amazing like I'm just gonna give an example it's probably not the best example but I'm gonna be saying like Shuckle it has piss poor attack special attack and speed but has the best defensive stats in both physical and special defense so the thing is like the ultimate wall it would, if you would say and <coughs> um for a base 130 it's not that bad this thing will be able to eat thunderbolts thunders and shadow balls for days I mean, we'll probably take like maybe one or two thunder but it's base 130 isn't half bad it's actually really really good and it will be probably one of the most tankiest special walls in like a lower tier from like the nu ru or pu tier and this thing will, will be a threat now for its speed i raised it from base 70 to base 95 now at base 95 speed it's a, it's actually in the middle from being like a very good fast pokemon and a very bad slow pokemon at the same time so it's in the middle um usually at base 100 and above is the best, but base 95 is in the middle, and it's not that bad, but better at the same time. It just depends on like if you're gonna run max speed or something like that. And base 95 speed is actually not that bad. So with a regular Noctowl, its actual base stat is at 442, but with the Mega Evolution, it will become 542. Now being above 
500 base stats is actually very, very good. And at 542, it's almost at 550. Now, that's an amazing Pokemon. Now, I really hope this thing is like a Pokemon that will be made because that's. Noctowl is just like crying for a Mega Evolution. Now for its ability, I gave it Sacred Power just like Delcatty like I said earlier in this video. Now if you don't know what Sacred Power does or you forgot what Sacred Power does or what like my definition for it, it's basically like huge power that doubles your physical attack, but Sacred Power doubles your special attack. So its special attack from Noctowl will become from base 91 to base 182. Now that's going to be a hard hitting Pokemon and also a very good de special defensive wall. This thing is going to be a tank, this thing is going to be a hard hitting special attacker. This thing will be probably become like the best uh, Mega in like a low, low tier Pokemon. But I'm pretty sure there's going to be people who are going to be using not Mega Noctowl if this thing does happen in like a higher tier just to like say, oh, I use lower tier Pokemon and high tier Pokemon battles because I want to prove a point that all Pokemon shouldn't be judged on how well they do in battle. So I kind of went off topic but that's what I'm kind of basing everything off of. But Sacred Power is a very very good ability for it uh, for Noctowl. Now for its typing instead of being a flying normal type I actually got rid of the normal type of um, characteristics and actually gave it the psychic type characteristics. Uh, along with the flying type, so it's going to be a flying psychic type. Now, let's be honest, everyone thinks that Noctowl should become a psychic type because it learns a lot of psychic type moves that, like, uh, regular psychic type moves that everyone uses. I'm going to list them all. It can learn Dream Eater, Hypnosis, Reflect, Confusion, Zen Headbutt, Synchronize, Extra Sensory, Psycho Shift. I already said Dream Eater. Um, this thing can learn Rest and that's basically it. Oh, and agility. So this thing can basically learn a lot and basically almost, I would say, almost all the psychic type moves. So giving it a psychic type characteristics will be very, very good and also it will give another stab to it. So it will have psychic stab and flying stab. And most likely if this thing does happen to become flying psychic, it's, um, the, it's moves that the people are most likely going to use is either hypnosis with dream eater or uh, roost. Air Slash, Shadow Ball, and Psychic because Noctowl can learn those and that would be a very very good set for this Mega. So with that said, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this Mega video then please don't forget to like, don't forget to comment and subscribe. And next week, or actually tomorrow's Pokemon, you're probably going to be surprised, but we're going to be talking about Mega Eevee. Yes, Mega Eevee. Now the reason why I'm going to be talking about Mega Eevee is only because that um, the normal Eevee should actually be able to be playable in Wi-Fi battles and stuff like that. And um, it would actually, it just, it's like, I don't know how to explain it, but like, if you ever seen those memes like on Facebook or something like that, about like Eevee being depressed and then like, and, and no one uses this unless it has like an evolution of some sort. Eevee has like eight evolutions, I believe, I'm not 100% sure, I'm just throwing out a number right now. and. Giving the regular normal Eevee a Mega Evolution will like have will be able to um, use the normal type Eevee just by itself for a Mega. That would be very 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 cool. So I'll get more into it tomorrow. So like I said, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this Y Mega Evolve video, then don't forget to like and also don't forget to comment and subscribe. My name is White Boy for the win, and I'll catch you guys later with tomorrow's Mega Evolution Eevee.